South Carolina and I officially had to turn the heater off and I'm about to have to take this sweatshirt off. Humid. I don't even have a pair of shorts. Let's cut these jeans into shorts like right now. Feeling toasty? Oh, it's fine. Just try to relax. Try to cool down. Oh. My heater that's rigged open. And yet now I need to close it because, oh my, there's so much heat coming out. Oh, great. Now the door's stuck. Open. Open the one on the inside too. Underneath the dashboard, I'm shoving sweatshirts and this heater buddy. Come on, heater buddy. Come on, heater buddy. <laughs> Floor does now, it just kind of goes up like that. It's part of the design. I love getting rid of stuff, I'm like addicted to it now. Bye bye. Got the back cleaned up a little bit, got rid of some blankets because you want to go crazy in a vehicle, have a ton of blankets when it's hot. This is a little trick that I do I roll up blankets right here and put them next to the driver's seat, it makes it like level so that Miles Davis is a nice spot. Uh, what a difference a day makes. I got a smaller ice chest. It was $8. I'm going to see if this will actually work with a Jackery. And uh, some protection for Sir Buddy. Bought a rotisserie chicken, put it in a bag milk for overnight oats, some hummus. That should do us over. Good morning, Florida. Woke up this morning at the pilot. Everybody's really happy. We're doing really good. Ooh, so excited. My truck just took two quarts of oil. Not surprised we even put it in the miles, but that's why it's so good to check all the time. I wasn't gonna check and something was like, check. It was like that low. Anyways, we just woke up at the pilot gas station. Super excited. Everybody's doing good. Everybody's doing real good. And I'm about to drive to a dog beach and I'm very excited about it. In a very good mood this morning. Start to sweat a little bit. Like it, like it a lot. Hear that squeaking? All right, my truck is like pa -pa -pa -pa, when I accelerate on the freeway and my belts are squeaking like crazy. All right, I got all the goodies. All the goodies. First thing I'm gonna do is throw some injector cleaner inside of my fuel tank. I just filled it up. It says to do three ounces per 10 gallons. So I'm gonna go ahead and do like nine. For my squeaky belt problem, I already have a replacement belt. So while I was in Napa, I went ahead and bought the tensioner pulley and idler pulley since I'm gonna be in there. May as well change the pulleys out too. But until I find a place to do that repair, hopefully the belt doesn't snap before then. Um, just to take the, to temporarily take the squeaking away, hopefully I'm gonna try out this belt dressing. So you just spray this straight onto the belt and we'll see what happens. The weather map says it's 82 degrees. So if this is 82, I think we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. I bought a box fan, let's try that out. Put that in the window, maybe buy another. I'm just gonna see how much wattage it takes from my Jackery, how much it sucks up. Cause then we can put one in, one going out, you know, circulation. This lady right here stops at Napa and she's like, are these your dogs? Yeah, she's, oh, this one, bougie, 
looks just like the dog that my friend lost two years ago. Or my friend lost. And I'm like, oh no, like this is mine. That's terrible. How long has it been? She said, two years. Yeah, I was good. She's like, it looks just, just like her. Like, no, this is my dog. <laughs> Back away, lady. Back away from Bougie. <laughs> Dogs are chilling. These are my underwear in my hand. <laughs> I'm like, what can you guys see that I'm gonna hate when I'm editing this video? We gotta address Amanda really quickly. So I just haven't wanted to talk about it, so that's why I haven't made a video. You guys, long story short, Amanda went home. Amanda went home two days after she was up in the mountains. Unfortunately, she just felt like her van wasn't in the condition that she wanted it to be in in order to travel. So long story short, that's just what happened. She said she felt terrified while she was driving and she just wanted some time and she has some friends that'll help her out just to like get some things out in and she'll potentially meet up with me in the future. So she went home. I was super bummed and I just, yeah, drove and went up to Maine by myself. And then as I was about to pass through New York, I thought, why don't I just stop by her house and try to convince her one last time and let her know that like, I know it's scary, but it's okay. Let's not think about all the things that could happen. Let's just go and when they happen, we'll, we'll get through it, you know? So I showed up at her house unannounced. just feels more comfortable um, getting the van dialed in at her house. She has friends that um, told her that they would help her, so she stayed. See you soon. See you soon, folks. In Tennessee, hopefully. Tennessee, she says. We've been on the road to Tennessee for some time now. <laughs> you know what? There's no rush. I was pretty ups like bummed, upset, just disappointed. I'm not mad at her. Um, just disappointed you know I was I was really looking forward to having somebody to travel with and especially having it be her so I had to leave New York without her and I left the East Coast without her and I didn't really know where I was gonna go and felt just sad I'm just sad I'm not mad I'm just sad so I just kept driving and I ended up in Florida and I thought okay this is where I'm gonna tap out because I'm just bored of driving and being on the road and I know Florida is going to be ridiculously hot, so I'll just show everybody on my YouTube channel why you don't go to Florida ever when you live in a Bronco with no AC and three dogs. And then all of a sudden we had like the best day today. got it. Maybe Florida's not that bad in February. So we're gonna keep going. May as well just stay in Florida until it's uncomfortable and then figure out what's next. I was really, really in the past couple of days looking at different trailers, like toy haulers, stuff like that, utility trailers that I can convert. But today was just a perfect example of why that's just probably not a good idea. You know how hard it would have been, if not impossible, to park today at this beach if I had a trailer? No one's got a trailer. No one's pulling a trailer right here. People got vans though. They've got vans. Those vans are looking pretty pretty roomy, pretty cozy right about now. Not gonna lie, after a long day at the beach, getting in your van, being able to walk around, looking pretty good. <laughs> Anyways, that's looking good. Also, I was thinking, you know, a piece of property to start a homestead, might be a good idea. Something cheap. Doesn't have to be my forever place. Just find something for like under 10,000 bucks and just have something. I need a project, basically. <laughs> but I'm glad that I'm here because today was a nice day. So let's just get back to uploading and dealing with three dogs and figuring out what the hell I'm doing with my life. <laughs> and um, hopefully Amanda gets her van dialed in and maybe one day we will 
meet up on the road and be able to travel together. Until then, the show must go on. Welcome to Florida. Let's just keep going and see where this road takes us. See you in the next one.